The gun control debate is front and center at the state capitol at this hour, and the debate on the House floor could go well into the night. Lawmakers are sparring over ammunition limits and weapons on college campuses. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is live now at the capitol for us, and Tyler, predictions are this is going to be a passionate and lengthy discussion. Already has been this morning, Bertha. Representative Rhonda Fields saying that citing the Aurora Theater shooting, the Connecticut shooting, Virginia Tech as well. One of the items up for discussion, ammunition limits. She believes those ammunition limits can save lives. It's part of a package of gun control bills that opponents call overreaching. They don't care how many people are opposed to what they're doing. They're ramrodding it through. Now, the third floor of the House gallery is packed with opponents. They were warned to be quiet or they could be asked to leave. Four bills are up for debate and could possibly be voted on today, including 1229, universal background checks for gun sales, 1226, which essentially eliminates the ability to carry a concealed weapon on a college campus, 1228, fees for CBI background checks, and 1224. This one's dominated so far this morning. These are ammunition limits of eight rounds for shotguns and for rifles and handguns, 15 rounds. High capacity magazines only have one purpose, and they should be in the theater of war. Now, Republican opponents call it a fallacy to believe that less ammunition makes people safer. Another called it the height of arrogance to say that lawmakers know best what a citizen will need in self-defense. Now, it's early, but you definitely get the impression this is going to be a long and passionate day at the Capitol. Reporting live, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Thanks, Tyler. The wait for Colorado gun buyers to get a required background check is down to less than three days. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation is shifting its resources to help reduce the backlog. The background check used to take less than an hour, but since the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, wait times have climbed, and at one point, the wait was more than nine days. Gun violence is the focus today as the president heads to Chicago on his post-State of the Union tour. More than 500 people were murdered in Chicago last year, including Hadia Pendleton. Her parents sat with the First Lady, as you'll recall, during Tuesday's State of the Union address. The 15-year-old was shot and killed just days after she performed at events for President Obama's inauguration in Washington last month. 